since I met you, baby. 91.7, 95.7, 98.1. Waiting there with uh, Sammy J. Uh, aptly named that song because Waiting on the Line. He is a, a fella who embraces both his Māori and Polynesian roots to create positive and uplifting music like the one we just heard, heard earlier. Uh, blending together island reggae soul and jazz vibes with health, heartfelt lyrics. Uh, Sammy's sound is exhilarating, intoxicating. He's coming back. Yes, ko hoki mai anō, te hautipua nei ki Tūranganui Akiwe, coming back to East Coast vibes. And for many of us like myself, we cannot contain our excitement. Please give it up for the man. He joins us now on Tūrang FM, Sammy J. Morning, Good morning, how's it going? Oh, you know, not too bad here in in uh, in, <laughs> in Gizzy City. It's nice and fine. What about up there in um, in the AC in Auckland? Oh, it's actually really good today. Yeah. It's yeah. a really good summer, I think. Just overall, well, apart from Christmas Day, but that's about it. Yeah, it was it was pretty um, crap here. Ugly, yeah. Christmas Day yeah. here, yeah. What did you get up to over the summer break? Did you did you have a break? Yes. Well, uh, this is one of my first breaks in a long time. I did nothing. It was the best. You did nothing. It was the best because you're quite busy throughout eight. the year. Yeah, I follow your Instagram, yeah, well, and you're, you're always you're either in America or you're doing a gig. So that must have been quite nice to just come back and relax out in Aotearoa. Yeah, no, it's always good to come home. I think for me, because I live in America, you have two summers every time. So you finish the summer in the states, and then you come straight. It gets cold there, and you come straight back home, and then it's summer here. So yeah, it's yeah a constant turnaround, which is great, but also can be full. It's always good to have work and better than have none at all. Yeah, yeah. So how yeah. how much of the year do you spend in America? Most of the year. Yeah. So I, I usually will do our summer here and then I'll leave around Feb or March and then I'm there till the end of the year and then I'll come back. Wow. Unless I've got something mid-year I need to come back for, but the ske- my touring schedule in America is intense, obviously, quite a bigger, a larger area to cover. So it's good, but yeah, you can't beat home. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of home, where is home for you, uh, Sammy J? Where do you come from? Totaha Māori. Where's your Māori whakapapa uh, from? Where, so my family's from, um, if you blink and miss it, but <laughs> it's, um, my family's from um, Tito. Oh, the way to road road. Tito, yeah. which has Dog, got those... The statue of the dog when you drive past. Yeah, <laughs> that's where you have to pay um, 50 cents for a mimi. Yeah, or it might have like gone that. up to a dollar by now. I haven't been to Tito for a while. So that's where your whānau's from. If you go inland a bit, you can just go to our um, family house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think your whānau wants uh, the whole of Aotearoa to call in there for a mimi, just quietly, Sammy J. <laughs> I don't think your whānau would be too pleased with that. No. Yeah, so they're in Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Sammy J, I was um, I, I was sitting here this morning. And I was remembering back to when I was hosting Homai Te Paki Paki. I think you oh, might wow. back in the day remember, and you came as a guest artist some years ago, and I think you were living in Brisbane back then, and and just kind of on your journey. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, just you know, like, oh, how could I forget? You guys were one of the first ones having television. And I remember I didn't even have a band at that time. I think I just had a acoustic, wasn't it? Yeah, or yeah. Something. And you had a couple of backup no. singers as well. You had some, yeah. some of your whanau with you, you know. But you were awesome yeah. then. You oh, were awesome then. You. And what, where <laughs> I'm going with this is that just to, just to think back to that day when you just starting out and, and catapulted now to where you are some years later. I mean, you everybody knows your song, Sammy J. Everybody, especially here in Gizzy, in the G-Town, Love you, bro. Love they it. love your waiata, <laughs> um, and they just can't get enough. I'm very, very blessed. I think um, coming home first before anything was probably the best thing that I could have done mm. in terms of just starting my music career. Because in Australia, obviously, there's a lot of Kiwis there, but I don't know. They don't, the support here is totally different. It feels a lot different. Yeah, so, totally. I, I lived in... Uh, I lived in Australia for a couple of years, so I can relate to what you're talking about. There's yeah, no place you know like I mean? home. It's, there's a lot of us there, but it's just not the same as being home. Totally agree. Totoko, totoko. So what are you bringing this weekend? You're bringing all your hits? Yes. There's too many now to be doing any, like, random ones. So <laughs> I just 
<laughs> Honestly, like I try and slip in a few like new ones. Like no, 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 just let all the wheels go. It's like, oh, like <laughs> which is that's what it's all about. You know? East Coast buyers and and this is I missed out last year because I had to something happened and I couldn't do it. So this year I made sure that I'm doing it and I didn't do. There's another festival we're not speaking of, but <laughs> oh, oh, the <laughs> other festival one. down the road. Yeah, we're not doing that one this year. We're only doing East Coast vibes, solely just to focus more on. Because I've missed out on East Coast vibes so many times, and so I wanted to just make sure that one festival got it all. And so, yeah, you guys, yeah. And so I'm really excited about that. And Jordan, and um, Jordan and those guys, are, they're doing a great job, and I love that the lineup is. Oh, it's sublime. Pretty much, it's all New Zealand apart from one or two, and I think that is just so cool. That is cool. That is cool. And of course, um, that's the cool thing, yeah. Yeah, uh, you're one sleep away from taking to the stage. It's Friday tomorrow. Right. You're on. You're on tomorrow. Um, and I know that you have uh, many fans here in Gizzy, uh, and many that are travelling from around Aotearoa uh, to come and, and hear your dulcet tones. Um, what do you want to say to all your fans here in Gizzy? Before we let Honestly, you go, I, just, I would say, don't be sorry, get up and sing. Stop, don't do the whole, um, I'm too cool to get up. Because honestly, the more that you have fun, the more you can get from the artist. And I think that's come across the board with artists in general. And I think you'll know too with, with, with all the work that you've done is like, the more reaction that we get from a crowd, the more you're going to get from us. Um, and so, yeah, just come and have fun, and we'll have. So I'm gonna sing my ass off. As, I mean, my bottom off. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. But no, and I'm just happy to be back out those ways and making sure I'm gonna go to all the my secret bakery spots. Bro, I think uh, happy is uh, an understatement for us here in, in Gizzy and Tuna and Uyaki, where we are waiting with bated breath. Can't wait. One I more sleep, wait. and you will be live on stage here at ECV. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to give us a call. We'll give you time no, now to go you. home and pack your bag, um, you know, get that all sorted. <laughs> and, <my> laundry. <laughs> and your laundry. Do your laundry, all that other stuff. Sammy J, lovely to talk to you, bro. Good to catch up. Likewise. Yeah, Thank we'll you see you tomorrow. Much. Hey, our Paul Paul. All right. That, of course, is the brother. Thank you, bro. That is the brother, Sammy J. Live on stage at East Coast Vibes tomorrow. Since I met you, baby.